being a human being is that we all get to have this individual journey as we're going through life all together and allowing each other to have that perspective that your journey is your unique journey. I have had the hardest time recording this podcast, truth be told. I've been in multiple conversations in the last few days. I've been training others and the perplexity came from certain things that people say to each other. And especially the one that drives me insane is why didn't you do it this way or better yet? I would have done it this way. And I've noticed in hearing it or seeing those things, the reaction of the individual that is receiving that words versus the person that's saying them as if the person that was doing the work was not intelligent enough to do it their way. Uh, or the person didn't comprehend anything. And it gives off that vibe of, I'm better than you. And when you come down to sales, when you come down to marketing, when you come down to any kind of business, our business is always a human conversation. We're, We're working with other humans. So if we don't become a lot more aware of the words that we use, the instructions that we put out and how they're perceived, we are in constant struggle of going, they don't get it. Well, they don't get it because they're not you and they're not intended to be you. Seven and a half billion people on this planet, what you have been through is completely different than what I have been through. Same thing with your clients, same thing with your family, even your most loved individuals. You do not know everything that goes on in their lives. You don't hear everything that they hear. You don't see everything that they see. So when we come across with, you got to do this this way, or why didn't you do it this way? That's such a really degrading way of talking to someone. So as I was doing training, and these are very intelligent individuals, various levels of businesses, entrepreneurship, there were words that I had put on the documents that I thought were super clear. And I had them question, not everyone, but several of them question some of the words based on what I was providing as instructions of how to carry through with the documents and I had to honestly be honest with myself that I knew the material extremely well because I'm the one who put it together and it came from what I believe were the right things to say to someone but as they looked at it and some of the words meant something completely different to them it gave me such a wonderful realization that You don't know what someone else will comprehend out of something. And when you get questions, that's actually the best thing that can happen is for you to go, oh, this is what I understood. And this is what this person is getting out of it. If we could do that in real conversations, whether you're having a conversation with your kids, with your spouse, with your business partners, with your clients and have that open conversation to really understand where someone is coming from, what they get out of something, not what you would think they need to get out of it, what they actually hear and understand out of it. You open up the conversation so much better. I think by doing a lot of this, we eliminate a lot of the frustration that can come across when you're working with someone, when you're having a conversation with someone. It's a beautiful thing for someone to question something that you think is, you got it dialed down, this is exactly it. And for you not to get offended by it. I wasn't offended. 
at all to see what their perspective is and that they needed more information based on what I thought certain instructions meant, what certain words meant. That is such a deep thing for us across the world, especially since now the world is such a smaller place. We have conversations with people all over the world, different cultures, different upbringing, different everything, but yet we're able to connect and communicate. And when we're able to be free in the way that we approach things without judgment, without our egos getting in the way of someone thinking that, oh, they're questioning me because they don't believe me. And I think, or they're questioning because they don't think I'm intelligent. That happens a lot with people when they get questions. They immediately go to the most negative things in their heads. I've done it in the past. Uh, and when I catch myself doing it, I stop myself immediately to realize that that's not what they're asking. They're attempting to clarify from their own perspective, what does something mean? How does it land for them? And for us to be able to communicate in a better way is the way that we're going to be able to bring more kindness into the world, more understanding into the world. If you want our businesses to thrive, if we would really like for a planet to be more cohesive in the way we connect with each other, those conversations have to happen a lot more open, a lot more freely. Stepping back from where you think you have it all dialed down. Bring it on. Bring on the questions. Bring on the understanding of what someone else is getting out of it. I think those are the most beautiful things we can do to each other is what do you get out of what I'm saying? That's how I think your attitude begins to change. That's how you begin to go up in your altitude in how you see and view things in life. I love when someone questions something that I'm saying. And for me to go, you know what? Maybe I don't know all the answers. And I definitely don't know all the answers. That's why we are a gigantic world in a smaller space. How do you comprehend something? So my ask of you in this podcast is to do self-reflection. That's where the incredible journey of becoming better versions of ourselves begins, is for us to be able to look within our days and see how are we showing up? How are we being? How are we treating ourselves? How are we treating others? Because in all honesty, you could attend the same training as someone else. You could read the same book as someone else. And what they get out of it is going to be completely different than what you might get out of it. There might be some points that might be shared, might be the same. But in general, it is an individual journey. And that's the beauty of being a human being is that we all get to have this individual journey as we're going through life all together. And allowing each other to have that perspective that your journey is your unique journey, but how you show up is totally up to you. That's where the self-reflection makes a gigantic difference for you to begin to alter who you show up as, who you're becoming, and how it makes a difference to everyone. Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear back from you how you view this, what you got out of this. That is the whole intention of doing these podcasts is for us to be able to look within ourselves of how are we showing up in the world? How are we becoming better? And are we becoming better? And sometimes you may not be becoming better. Sometimes you may be going through a rough time in the self-reflection part is the part that will allow you to see where, where do I need to work on myself? Where do I need to grow? That's the invitation in all of these podcasts. As I bring on guests, as you hear me speak, is look within you. Because 
as human beings, that is the best thing that we're capable of doing is to be able to reflect, to be able to make choices and to be able to really apply ourselves to how do we continue to improve. 